Hello, in this tutorial we will show you how to upload a blog to your website. Upon logging in and being greeted with your dashboard, we will first use a mouse cursor to highlight the media section and we will right click and open this in a new tab. While that loads, we will then select posts and we will select add new. My apologies, I'm on the wrong section. We will select posts and we will select add new. Next, we will allow the page to load before we continue. As you can see, the page is loaded and we are asked to add a title. For this tutorial, we are going to be creating a post titled New Vacancy Available. Please ensure that you have your spelling correct before moving on. Next, for the time being, we will highlight this title, right click and copy, and scrolling down to our Yoast SEO, which stands for Search Engine Optimization, we will paste the title in the focus key phrase. Please note that our SEO is very important as this is what Google will use to index this post within its search results. Scrolling down, we have come to our edit snippet. Here we will simply select edit snippet and in the slug, we will paste the title. As you can see there. Moving down to the meta description, again, this is what will appear here within the Google results. Again, we will paste the title, or in this case, we will just type it out. As you can see, I've entered the title and the orange bar has appeared below. Here, we will see the orange bar will extend and eventually turn to green as more text has entered. That bar will eventually turn back to orange once too much text has been added. Here we will continue to add a description that is relevant to this post. As you can see, I've entered the text and the bar has changed to green, indicating it is the preferred amount of text. If I was to highlight and copy this section and paste it again, we will see that the bar has changed back to orange, indicating that there is too much text and we need to remove some. We will simply delete this and we'll leave it on green. Once we're happy, we'll select Close Snippet Editor and we'll move up to the top of the page. Here, we will start creating the blog. By selecting here we can start typing or we are even able to change the blog to show an image. By selecting the plus icon a new area will appear. Here we will select image and as you can see a new the box has been changed. Next we have the option to upload a new image, choose from the media library or insert from URL. If we were to select media library a new window will appear showing us all the available images currently on the website. If we want, we can select Upload Files and we will select Select Files to upload an image from our computer. As you can see, I've already navigated to where I've saved the images and here we will select the image we wish to upload, select Open and you will see the image will be loaded here. Once it is completed, we will simply select Select and we can see that the image has been loaded. Again, we can select on the bar below, and here we can start entering the description. As you can see here, we will enter the text that is relevant to the post. We can enter as much as we wish, and we can create a new block by simply selecting Enter on the keyboard. Next. I will show you how to upload a PDF to this blog. First, we will have to select the plus icon and change this block into a custom HTML block. As you can see, it has changed, and now we will be inserting a code into here. Please note that we will provide you with this code at the end of the tutorial in an email. I have copied my code, and I will simply right click and paste it. Next, you will see that this is showing the post where to place the PDF. I will highlight a section now from HTTP all the way to .pdf we will need to highlight as this is the URL that we are going to be replacing. 
Now I will navigate back to my media tab and here we will upload our PDF. We are able to simply drag the PDF from a file into here or we can select add new. By selecting select files this window will appear again. Here we will simply choose our PDF. Please note that this PDF is an old PDF from one of a previous post that we have just retitled to vacancy. We will select the file and select open. As you can see it is busy uploading and once it is finished we will select it. This will open a new window and we will look for the copy link. Here we will select the entire link. We will right click and copy it and we will navigate back to our original tab. Here we will right click on the highlighted section and we will paste, replacing it with the vacancy PDF. Next we will scroll down and we will show we have done everything on the side of the column. We have our title, we have an image, we have our description and we have a PDF if required. Scrolling down we have completed our SEO which includes the key phrase as well as the snippet which is in the green. We will close the snippet and we will move on to the right hand side of the column. Here we can change the visibility of the post to make it a private post or a public post. We can change the publish date. In other words, we can schedule this to go off tomorrow or we can backdate this to say it was posted yesterday. Moving down, we can change the author to South Coast Tourism. Scrolling down, we have come to our categories. Here we are able to search for the category we wish to upload to or we can scroll through the list below to find the vacancies. As you can see, I found vacancies at the very bottom and we will select that. Please note that you are able to select multiple categories, so please ensure you have the correct one selected. Scrolling down, we come to our tag section. This is also very important with Google as this is what Google will also use to index this post within its search results. So again, we will copy the title of the post, right click copy, and we will right click and paste it into the tag. 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 My apologies. Next, we will enter more tags that are relevant to this post. In this tutorial, we will insert South Coast Tourism, as well as Vacancy, and Apply Today. I would suggest that we add quite a few tags here, not too many, but enough that describes the post. Scrolling down, we have come to our featured image. Here we will simply select set featured image and our window will appear. Next we can choose to use an image already uploaded onto the website or we can add a new one. In this case we will select upload files, we will select select files and we will choose our featured image. Next we will select open, we will allow the image to load and then we will say set featured image and it has been added. Once we are happy, we can run through the entire post one more time to ensure everything is correct. We have title, image, description, PDF if required, and we have completed our SEO. On the right hand side, we have set our visibility, our publish date, our author, we have selected our category, included tags, and have set a featured image. Once we are happy, we will simply select publish. It will ask us again to confirm, and it will now publish the post. As you can see on the left here, we had a quick notification pop up that allows us to view the post. However, if you do not select it quick enough, it will simply disappear, as you see there. Again, we also have the option here to view the post immediately, but I will show you how to view this post from the front of the website. To do that, we will simply load the website from the front end. Now that the page is loaded, we will use our mouse cursor to hover over resources and we can see vacancies and performance at the bottom. We will select that and the page will load. Again we will scroll down and we have come to our vacancies tab. Here we will select view now and we will view the new vacancy post that we have just published. Here we can select the post and as you can see it has loaded it. We have our new vacancy available, we have our image loaded and we have our description here as well as a PDF below. That is how you would update, my apologies, that is how you would upload a post to your website.